What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life. And right now, we're up deep in the North Cascade Mountains of Washington State. The snow's coming down, the wind is blowing hard, it's near blizzard-like conditions. And I'm up here gonna attempt to try to have a campfire and cook a meal in the Dutch oven over the campfire. But the major challenge is gonna be this wind because there is no way to get shelter from the snow and wind like this. Even if I deploy the awning, the wind still blowing that snow in here sideways. But nonetheless, this right here is exactly what living the van life is all about. Well, the good news is the wind has died down quite substantially, but the snow is coming down even harder. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the awning now, see if I can get a little bit of shelter from this snow. Of course, as soon as I say that, here it comes blowing right back at me. So I'm gonna still try and keep the awning out, but I'm gonna see about tying a bundle of firewood down to this leading edge and see if I can't keep this anchored. coming down folks what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a bit of a hole here in the snow and then I'm gonna pack snow over the top of it to help anchor this in but between the weight of the firewood and anchoring of the snow I'm hoping this is gonna be enough to hold down my awning in this crazy crazy wind Not good, not good. I don't know guys. I think I'm gonna have to call it on this awning idea. This wind is way too gnarly. There's been a few gusts that have come and grabbed this thing and damn near just ripped it straight off the, the eve of the van. Holy crap, this got way worse in just a matter of minutes.
Okay, awning is back. I'm gonna have to seek shelter here in the van and figure out a plan. Shit. Oh. Hands are frozen. Well, I just uh, in a hurry grabbed the firewood and threw it in the van here. That's going to be a mess. Anytime I have the van open, it's uh, snow is blowing in. So I'm trying to be quick at this. This uh, this storm moved in really quick. That's for sure. Look at this. Wow, things turned very interesting very quickly. There for a moment I actually thought the wind was going to be dying down, but then all of a sudden out of nowhere it came back hardcore. I think that just means that we're just going to have to seek shelter here inside the van this evening. Uh, but that's okay because that's ultimately what the van is here for. Uh, it actually makes a great shelter here in conditions like this. In fact, the diesel heater is pumping away here down below, keeping the van nice and warm and comfortable. The Battleborn lithium heated batteries are keeping everything charged, everything lit, and everything running. So ultimately, we've got the perfect scenario to just to be able to hunker down and wait out this storm. So I think that's what we're going to do here this evening. And of course, we'll cook a nice, comfortable meal while this storm goes down outside. Well, I've just got things organized here inside the van for the night. That was a little bit of chaos and I had to pile everything here inside the van and shift some gears. But like I always say, living in a van is all about adapting and overcoming. At this point, now that the van's all organized and ready to go for sheltering in place this evening, before I jump into dinner, I would like to say a few words about the sponsor of today's video, which is Ritual. Now, Ritual is the obsessively researched and transparently made multivitamin. Because let's face it, we don't all have perfect diets. I do try to eat as healthy as possible, but that doesn't happen all the time. And that's part of living in a van on the road. So that is where a vitamin like Ritual comes into play and helps supplement your diet with the minerals and the vitamins that are important to being healthy. Essential for Men contains 10 quality nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin D, omega-3, and zinc that are difficult for men to get from their diet alone. Now I take my Ritual Vitamins every morning when I'm eating breakfast. These two easy to take capsules provide the nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. With a delivered to your door subscription, it's only a dollar a day to get 10 quality nutrients that your body needs delivered straight to your doorstep. No strings attached, no extra charge. As a bonus to help you start a healthy foundation for your body, Ritual is offering a 10% discount off the first three months of your subscription by going to the link in the description below. Also use code LTVL upon checkout. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely hungry. So I'm gonna get to cooking and prepping some food. Okay, so I'm gonna start out tonight's meal by prepping an onion and a couple cloves of garlic. Now this right here is a very special cutting board. This actually comes from a subscriber here on Living the Van Life. Mark and Lisa are a husband and wife team that do custom woodwork. They are actually based here in the Pacific Northwest. In fact, you should definitely go over to their Instagram and check out their woodcraft stuff. They do a lot of cutting boards like this. Mark and Lisa, thank you so much for this wonderful cutting board.
at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the propane bottle top burner, and we're gonna get to cooking some food right here inside the van. Here inside the van again, I've got both of the side windows cracked very slightly because of the crazy wind that's going on outside. But I also do have the roof vent cracked. Highly important, anytime you're cooking with an open flame, always have plenty of ventilation. So to give you guys a little bit of perspective of how this all takes place in a Volkswagen Westfalia, keep in mind right now we are in the living room space, which is about a four foot by four foot area here uh, about the middle of the van. Now right now it's also doubling as the kitchen. This is the Westfalia table that is anchored just below the driver's seat. This thing can swivel over the fridge, it can swivel over here next to this, this countertop over here. But right now, the living room is doubling as the kitchen. Food is being staged over there. That's the pot of pasta that we just cooked. The tripod sits right here in the middle of everything. Over here, behind the scenes, is another staging area. So everything that's going to go in front of the camera gets kind of staged up here. And of course, after it's a living room, after it's a kitchen, then this area becomes a bedroom. But it's key to stay organized in all of this because it can become quickly overwhelming if you don't stay on top of the organization here as you work through a meal. This is a little perspective of what it takes to uh, do all of this in a Volkswagen Westfalia. I just looked outside and there's probably about a foot to foot and a half of snow that's uh, come in since we were outside trying to film. So, and we're staying nice and cozy warm while this blizzard is setting in upon us outside. Definitely thankful for the shelter of the van here.
Okay, so now that dinner is actually done cooking, I've gone ahead and done some cleanup and some organization. The bottle top burner I've set off to the side. I've cleaned up the table here. Now I'm gonna undo the table from behind the driver's seat and I'm actually going to move it into this position here. And then at this point, it'll sit over the front of the couch here and I can actually dine at the table. The meal, it's staying nice and warm there, so I figured I'd take some time and organize and clean up just so that uh, I can stay ahead of the game. Now the cool thing about the table in this position is the fact that here on the couch, it actually pulls in nicely to where you can, like I said, sit and dine and enjoy a meal. But then also, if you've got some work to do, this is a, a spot where I do a lot of my editing when I'm out on the road. I can plug into my Battleborn battery system and I can sit here and I can work for a day to two days without even having to move. This tonight is where we're gonna sit and enjoy our meal that's still nice and warm right here in the Dutch oven. And I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy a nice cup of whiskey. Some good old Canadian club this evening. The great thing about Canadian club is it's very affordable, but yet still very tasty. I am looking forward to digging into this. Just because we're not able to have a campfire outside doesn't mean that we can't do some Dutch oven cooking. In situations like this, I try to use the eight inch Dutch oven just to kind of keep my portions low. But I tell you what, there's still probably a couple more bowlfuls worth of food in there. So even the eight inch uh, can get a little overwhelming to the amount of food. That's the great thing about having the Engel fridge here inside the van is the leftovers, the extras that I cook here, I can pack them up in some plastic containers and store them nicely in the fridge and have those for leftovers later on. Well, I think that about wraps it up for doing dishes for the night. Got everything pretty cleaned up and organized, which, like I said, is really, really important when you're dealing with a small space like this. And especially when it's cold and stormy outside, you can't expand your living space outside your vehicle. Everything has to happen right here.
it's right on the verge of freezing and then being too warm to snow. So it's almost like these are ice pellets that are coming down and tied together with the wind. That stuff just pelts you in the face. It's actually pretty painful. It's like getting sandblasted in the face. I thought we'd be getting some snow, but the fact that this turned into quite the little winter storm here, I mean, heck, I'll take it. I'm always down for a little bit of extreme. That makes things a little bit more interesting. And we've definitely got that. All right, guys, I'm gonna make my way back to the van, crawl into bed and get a good night's rest. We'll catch you guys back there at the van. I'm tired, that is for sure. It's been a long day. It's a lot of work coming out here and do this winter camping. It's one thing just to go winter camping, but then when you're making videos about it, that's a whole nother different ball game. But it's all in the love for the game. All right guys, I think I'm gonna hunker down for the rest of the evening, call it a night finish sipping on my whiskey of what's left of it and probably just listen to some tunes gotta sit back and relax for a moment take it all in so all right guys we'll catch you in the morning
Good morning, guys. Just getting up this morning. Gonna have some breakfast, take my vitamins, have a cup of tea. Right now outside it's about 28 degrees, which is about negative two degrees Celsius. So overnight the temperature definitely did fall, but thanks to that diesel heater here inside the van, it's about 71 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 22 degrees Celsius. So definitely plenty warm and cozy here. It's a good way to be able to wake up when there's snow falling all around. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and get out of here. Head back down the mountain. Well guys, I'd say this about wraps up this here van adventure. Not bad for the first winter camping video of the 2021 season. Hopefully there's much more to come. Overall, it was a cool experience coming up here. I thought I was gonna be able to kick back, have a fire, cook a meal, and enjoy it. But with that winter storm coming in, things got a little bit crazy. But nonetheless, it's time to wrap this one up. If you guys are new to the channel and you've made it this far into the video, I'd like to go ahead and invite you to come on board, hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that's actually what's going to notify you anytime videos like this are uploaded. Make sure and hit the like button, but most importantly, make sure and leave your comments in the comments section down below because I love to hear your guys' feedback. All right, guys. From here, I'm gonna hit the road, go find the next living the van life adventure. Peace out, keep on trucking.